never going to African parties, and I was always in the middle, you know, doing my COSA. Then all of a sudden, she started doing my COSA. I'm like, girl, we can start doing this dance. Some ladies, the minute they start seeing their period, they start taking folic acid and omega oil. Your friend will never ever copy, like want to be exactly like you. How you doing? I'm doing great. I, I, I didn't want to stop. I yeah, I didn't want to stop. I was like popping, 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 popping. That music is just hitting. You have I to know. just give them pepe. Give them because the music is pepe. Talking about pepe, ladies. Welcome to another episode of Girls on Cut. Sometimes we struggle with the hustle and bustle of our everyday lives that we realize that we tend not to even have time for our significant other. Mm. Today on Girls Uncut, we are going to be telling you how to make your man feel special. I make him feel happy. Oh. <laughs> uh, are you, what, what is that? Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, what, why are you getting all excited? Let's give you that. Is he coming on set today? Maybe because we're talking about Is he coming on set today? Uh, no, no, no. Because you're like, oh. Maybe next week, okay. but not today. All right. All right. All right. All okay, right. so ladies, how do we make our men feel special? Because we realize that, you know, we're so tired sometimes. And in relationships, there are times when your partner just feels, you know, he feels you guys are not bonding anymore. Yeah. And you just want to bring the spice back. Mm -hmm. You want to, you know, light the sparks back in that relationship. So how do we go about it? Mm -hmm. How? I'm a touchy back, touchy person. Bring back I'm a spots. touchy touchy person. I mean, I'm a kissy kissy person. Aww. And yeah, I love to kiss. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's a sacred. Yeah. You know, I love to touch. I love to kiss. Yeah. So, you know, there are times when I realize that I haven't done that in a while. And you know, when I remember, I'm like, hmm, okay. This mm. shouldn't be planned, <laughs> but it should be done. Yeah. So I do that. And you know, I, I find that my man likes that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he doesn't like it, so. <laughs> mm. okay. Okay. okay, I feel like you know, you know, you can I know, I know. I feel shape. like if you want to love somebody, yeah. you can't love somebody that you don't know. So first off, if you want to take care of your man, you have to get to know him and know what he loves. Because everybody's different. Like Definitely. What may have worked for you in your first relationship may not necessarily apply in your next relationship. So what it is is that you should get to know this person. Mm -hmm. What are his preferences? Yes, what kind yes, of person yes. he is he? What's his love language? Because I feel like everybody has different love languages. Yeah, like yeah. Arike just pointed out, she's a huggy, touchy, touchy person. I'm also very big on that, actually. <laughs> Shout out Come to you, all my girl. pictures, I'm sure you can see. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm, you know, passing for you to come and kiss me, but yes, you catch my drift. Generally, you know, my love language is touch. My love language is, I'm not very big on gifts. I don't know. So and what? Gifts. gifts. Because like, you know how yeah, some people, they just gifts. give you things and, and you're like, like that's enough. Mm -hmm. They're not present. Like you, yeah. very, you rarely see them. And people who do the giving thing, most times they're out of the country half of the time. Mm -hmm. In the relationship, they're out of the country. So they are making up for their mm -hmm. absence yes. with the gifts and everything. So you need to know what does this person really appreciate. Because yeah. me, I want you to be present. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm the kind of person, I might need something and I won't tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, because I just, I'm content generally. Mm -hmm. But if you're present, you would know, okay, this is what this girl needs. This mm -hmm. is the attention she needs. And I love attention. I love, love attention. Okay, I'm getting selfish here. We're talking <laughs> about loving our uh, men. So basically what I'm saying is you need to know 
what this person loves. Yes, definitely. definitely. And then, you know, you serve what he wants because you can't give somebody something that the person doesn't really like. So, mm -hmm. yeah, first off, you need to know your man for who he is. Mm -hmm. What does he love? Is he the touchy type? Does he like gifts? Does he like attention? Does he like food? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And see, this is how I treat my man, you know. I'm a very romantic person, so mm -hmm. I really put thought into what I'm going to do for my man. So, you know, I will try to see, like, what he wants to eat that night. I'll make sure that the house is clean. I'll put my special candles on, the fragrant ones, so when yeah. he's coming inside yeah. the house, you know, he will always have that remembrance of how my home smells, yes. you know. Yes. I'm so big on all these details. Things will keep them thinking about you and running home to you, ladies. Mm -hmm. I know the tricks <laughs> so this is what I do I plan everything out I have blue lights in my house sometimes so I just turn off the other regular lights and yeah. Yeah. Play. Turn on the put light. the blue lights yeah. on turn you know? on so sometimes once I'm embarrassed me it's like ah, is, what are you trying to do today I was like, no because it's blue I felt kind of embarrassed but I was like I already know he was just joking so then you know make sure there's a good movie on or whatever and then put like little wines or little drinks or something just to set the mood right this is how I show him that I missed him you know yeah. and then I have my oils you know so I get ready I'm like do you want a massage babe he's like um okay I'm like I know you want a massage, you knew it, <laughs> because you go like this, uh, mm, you know. So I was kind of reading the signs. So mm -hmm. these little things, they will always remember. So then, you know, that can lead to the other good stuff, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever tried, like, chocolate? Chocolate with, with how? Just with the guy. Tried, okay. like, eat chocolate, On and then what next? No, just, just put it, Where do you like, put the little... chocolates? Can we get there? Can we go there? Okay, I think we need to go on a break wait, wait, before Bethany no, takes need to, us there. Wait, we'll go wait, on a wait. break. We'd we'll like to know <laughs> how you treat your man, how you love on your man, with how the chocolate. you, you know, love him without going there. I don't know about no, what Beverly is saying. <laughs> we would love to see your comments at girls on cut underscore on Instagram and Twitter. We'll be back with more talk, more conversations, and more of how to love on your man. Don't go anywhere. Girls on cut. We'll be right back. It's still Girls on Card, and today we are talking about how to make your man feel special, how to crush on your man, how to show your man that you love him. Girls, hey, before boo. we went on a break, <laughs> Beverly, the teacher, was about to teach to us. To go there. She was about to teach us a few tips that I want to let. My ears are wide open. I'm Girl, taking notes. You I can go there. Okay, great. Since I got the approval. Yeah. So, ladies, chocolates is very what romantic yeah. it can like it's strike right? exactly mm -hmm. it can bring out some spiritual emotions that needs to come out i'm talking about the good spiritual mm. emotions you know okay. so this is what i do i don't cheat in myself or cheat and go get the syrup that's just so easy i get my favorite kind of chocolate let's say snickers because they have snickers here i get my favorite kind of chocolate i put in a pot i make sure if it has peanuts i you know, crush in everything. Pot. In a pot, I melt the chocolate. Mm -hmm. okay. So the ones that I like. Wow. So when I'm going to do my thing, I know that I'm also getting Enjoy pleasure oh. from the chocolate. So it would be like mm. a you and I thing, and not just mm. you getting mm. Write that down, ladies. This is free. Yes. Yeah, you are cooking chocolate. Chocolate. I'm going to. Hey. 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 No, I can. I can try granuts, but. Mm. With the nuts. But which yes. nuts? Snickers have the nuts. nuts. Snickers have nuts in them, the nuts and the nuts and the nuts. Because I say you have to pound the nuts very well. Oh my goodness. So thank you. No, you guys. No, seriously. Excuse me. Yeah. No, we're listening. We're listening. we're listening. You have to pound the nuts very well, mm -hmm. you know, so make sure that it's melted okay. perfectly how you want it to. Mm -hmm. And this has to be while he's here because if you wait, then it just gets, you know, cold. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you bring it out. He's like, ah, what are you doing? I said, don't worry. Like, please don't burn me. Up. I'm like, just chill. Just chill. Trust me. Okay. Okay. So, you know, you lay him down. Make sure that the covers that you have is not white because it's going to be a messy, sticky situation. Hey. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
Mm. So when you do that, you just lay him, lay him like straight like this. Now he's nervous now because he doesn't know he's gonna be burnt because he sees the steam <laughs> coming from the pot. So you have to just tell him that it's okay, babe. Oh, no. babe. He's like, please, oh, don't burn me. You try to be kinky. I, I love you. I know you love me, but you know you want to just chill, babe. Just chill. Ah, I got this. So let him let him lay back like this. Mm -hmm. So then you find the places that you like because mm -hmm. this is when you have to really bring your mm -hmm. your A game uh -huh. and your bring other games on. up, you know. Yeah. Okay. So you find the places that you like that he likes too, and you pour it there, right? So you can add strawberries to it, you know, just to go mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. Put it in his mouth, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. then you just can go like this. Oh. You can put it right there. Ooh. You can put it right there. So you can go down. down. You can go down. You can put it there. <laughs> okay. Mm. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you have to keep this very, you know, mm. G-rated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so you just put on the places that will stimulate his body to get him aroused. Okay. You know? okay. Can we say aroused? Yeah. To get him aroused. So, what are the pressure points? Do you think that will get him to feel like, hey, it makes him attention? Mm. Oh. So which right. places? Well, some, men like, some men like some men like to be kissed. Some men mm. like you know. But we want to put the chocolate the there. So where would you put this? And put then the chocolate you know, their here? test. Yeah. And where else? That's it. We're not gonna go down, down there, of course. Down there. And what other places? Obviously. So some men are very freaks. They like it everywhere down there. Mm -hmm. okay. But those are the ones you have to really question it. Because if you like it there, mm. then what else do you like there? <laughs> I'm not going to tell anybody where I'm going to put my chocolate. <laughs> When I try it out, I might come and just yes. leave it. I might. Oh, yes, and I might not. <laughs> Please tell me. Yeah, my. We don't need it. Don't worry. And, and also, we ladies, you it. can add whipped cream. Mm. Now, whipped cream yeah. is very oh, yes, sticky. Know that, you know, everybody knows that one. Just yeah. shush, shush. Mm -hmm. But chocolate, but chocolate is very No, sick. chocolate is very sticky. When it's hot, too. Mm. But it's but it's so passionate. Like, well, you guys burn him if it's hot. <laughs> not if you pour the chocolate. It's sensitive. But then you can also put it on your mouth and then go there too. Okay. Because then it has another sensation. It's not all about pleasing him too. You have to get pleased as well, you know. Okay. Girl. So ladies. All right. Ladies. Let's talk about other love languages, mm. don't you think, Arike? Yeah. Well, you can also give him compliments. Because you okay. know, realize that we ladies, we love you when our men compliment as well. We don't really give them compliments. Like, tell him he looks good. Mm -hmm, they tell love him that. He looks nice. Tell him yeah. Let like, him feel happy. Massage mm -hmm. his ego. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. That's yes. Really what they that's love they it. They're like they, babies. They They're they like are, little babies. They are babies. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to say, they they're all looking good. You know, he's putting his pecs on. So he looks like cute like, oh, really, really, really. to get confirmation. Really, really, really. Like, do I look good? I said, yeah. baby, daddy, so hot. I love you. Like, I'm looking good. Back. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, you look good. And then you know you should. There are times when you should also take him out and pay. Yeah. Because we love it when our men take us mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and pay. But you know oh sometimes take him out and also pay. Yes, you be surprised. And let him be. Like, let him say, oh no, I got this. And be like, no, 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 I got this. Mm -hmm. I'm paying for you. Do you know what's mm. so funny? Before we came on set, I actually asked the guy, like, so what would you like your woman to do for you mm. and that uh, will make you feel special? And he was like, if she takes me out of the country, I was like, out Ooh. of the country. Mm. This is too country. much. That's another one. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but if you can afford it, no, if you can afford it, why not? Yeah. Mm. Why not? Mm. Okay, this is a vacation. You can create a vacation. You can go on That's a like you guys are in a very committed relationship. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not like yeah. we just meet and you want to fly. No. Oh. Eh? No, 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 no. I think what no, it means is because no. if a man wants to be loved, he has to be in that environment. Sometimes they, you need to take them out of that workspace. And then so you don't necessarily have to fly him out of the country, but you can book a hotel and say, okay, let's go to this place for the weekend. And, you know, you can get busy Please. with but, um, Beverly's whipped cream mm. and, and chocolate yes. and everything mm -hmm. in between. Granuts mm -hmm. too, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this mm. is the mm. Granuts. Mm. Okay. And even dropping phones. You should drop your phones. Because, yes. you know, you realize that you want to spend time with your significant other and then you're still with your phone you're like hey what's happening here mm -hmm. there are times when you need to just drop your phone mm -hmm. and you know get him to drop yeah, his phone as well and just spend quality time together yes it's so true yeah. they like and that then, too and then i feel like men are very big on r-e-s-p-e-c-t mm -hmm. that's yes. better right yes yeah yes. because yes. you can tell a man i love you <laughs> not hearing what you're saying yes if you don't show him that respect mm -hmm. he can't 
figure out the love that you're saying yes. that you have. So true, it's true. very key for you to respect your man or not him. Especially you know? in front of his friends. Yes. You, you, gotta, you have friends to really yeah. stroke his yeah. ego. And family members as yeah. well. Because I mean, they're yeah. always watching like, hey, like you see hey, the way she's so rude. <laughs> she didn't even serve him. He wanted to get his food by himself. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. So you have to go on your knees with the tray. Eh. I know, <laughs> really. I mean, that's, hey, like, that's not how I serve. Oh, really. <laughs> that's how we say it, but that's not how I serve. <laughs> my knees. Okay. Like, I'm not do that. That's how we say it, but I, that's not serve him on my knees. Like what? Like I, bring, the, bring the bring the bring the. That's what they you teach like you this? traditionally. Uh, yes. No, that's my my parents hey, teach me like every that. Every time you you yeah. bring him food, yeah. maybe. But well, that's the culture, right? Yeah. What else? Yeah. 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 On your knees. Every yeah. do you do that? Because you've been married for eleven years. I do you never, serve I your never man like that. No, I think the only day I knelt down to do that was on my wedding day. You know how it is when you're yes, serving your husband yeah. cake mm -hmm. and they say, oh, you have to kneel down. So they yes. had already told me that beforehand. If they didn't tell me, I would have probably sat next to him and said, hey, boo, take <laughs> this. So I knelt down and gave it to him. But after that day, I, I serve him his food, but I ain't going down on my knees. So do you feed mm -hmm. your men sometimes? Like, do you like, hey, baby. <laughs> Erika, come on, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> and oh no! <laughs> you don't feed him. Uh -uh. I feed my guy. I don't feed I him. I do. I nah. like baby. Girl, no. these, I mean, these little things keep them like, I'm a baby. Yeah, she's trying to miss her. Hey. I'm sure my husband is laughing right now. Maybe I'm trying to feed him today. When I go today. When you have three babies to feed you, add one more. I have like, hey, 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 sweetie, take, have, have this. Come and take. Baby, have I this. think you have, have time this. to be feeding your baby because when you start popping babies, girl, I'm still going to treat my man like that. No, well, if well, he likes important. to be fed. I'll have one here and then the other one could be here. Hey, baby, mm. bam. Super. You're the real soup. Why not? <laughs> you you know, know, it also depends on what he likes. I mean, if he likes that, then... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, some men yeah. like yeah, that. Because when do. they leave, especially if you have a guy that's, like, in the mm. entertainment world as well, mm. you want him to remember, like, man, I need to brush home to my girl. Because mm. she treats me like a baby. king. She's going to feed me too. Not <laughs> nagging all the time. I know I'm coming home to smell good, blue lights, hot oh. chocolate. Hey! hey. hey. Now I'm going to add my nuts. Okay, oh. and show him what, what? I can do. <laughs> Yes. And you know, oh my let's, goodness. Let, we should also show them that we appreciate the little things they do for us. Because yeah. that's yeah. very important. Because yeah. guys do so much and then, you know, you're just like, oh. But sometimes you need to take out time to actually let him know that you appreciate, appreciate yeah. him and all he does for you. On that note, ladies, we have to go on a quick break. We would be right back. Join the conversation at Girls on Cut underscore on Instagram and Twitter. Let us know what you think. Let us know how we can make our men feel special. It's still Girls Uncut. Ow! And ladies, we want to hear from you. So send in your questions, and we and our lovely hosts will get to you as soon as we can. You know, we read every question and we try to always mm -hmm. pick everybody's questions. So, yeah. you guys, yes. you know, just keep sending them in at Girls Uncut underscore Twitter and Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, of course, it's question time. Yes, and girl. her name is Chioma. My name's Sake. How are you, girl? She says, I live in Portal Course. I love fashion and makeup, but most times I find myself struggling to get an outfit out of my wardrobe, and my husband complains that I'm taking forever to get dressed. Please help me with tips on how to get an outfit without wasting time. Choma, mm. you're not alone. <laughs> you have a million and one women like you out there, and that includes me. I'm definitely one of those ladies who struggle with picking out an outfit so my room is clean until I decide to dress up as me too. There goes. <laughs> so you're definitely not alone. And if you have a husband who's not patient or who understandably cannot understand why you're taking forever, then you need to up your game and try to be prepared. You know you're going out and so you want to prepare the day before, pick out clothes that you would wear, or you just have a corner of your closet where you know you have like your best outfit. So whenever it is you have any place to be at, you know that if you go to this part of your closet, you have your best outfit. So it works okay, for me. Yeah. That's what I do. It's so easy to give advice and not take it. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to give you advice, but um, I should also take some of, some of it. 
what I usually do is I like what what Nonso said. I have like my traditional outfit somewhere. I have like clothes I can wear to parties somewhere. But then I still struggle with what to wear. So if I have a wedding tomorrow and you know today I go there and I see everything, I start bringing out clothes, bringing, bringing, and then I'm like, mm, I'll continue tomorrow. And then the day comes and I'm bringing out clothes yeah. and I say, oh, I don't even have anything to wear. My husband is like, you don't have anything to wear. Hmm. But these are clothes. Oh. Mm -hmm. They are like a million and one clothes. I'm like, no, you don't understand. I don't have. So I struggle, struggle, struggle. Find something to wear, and then I go get my makeup done. I think that's like that. That one that is one the, that one is the one that takes forever. Oh my goodness, mm. it could take hours, especially mm. when you go to a professional makeup mm. artist. Shout out to mm. people like Nanso who hey. are like professional makeup yeah. artists. Like she doesn't need anybody. She I just do my makeup just in the car. Mirror. No yeah. mirror. She doesn't even need a mirror. In the car. She's just like even, oh, I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. even when I like She's when a when I have a driver or if I decide to go with an Uber, I would just stay in the car with the speed bumps. I'm doing my eyeshadow mm. like this. See? Like this. She's a pro. And you know, she's a pro. She's a pro. Sure. She's a pro. So what you. I did was I had to stop going to like most times I don't even go to the makeup artists because mm. they 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 spend like yeah. two hours. They take forever. So yeah. So now I try to do my makeup by myself. I'm, I'm trying try to do my brows, fix my lashes. I think once you get your brow, brows right and yes. you do your lashes, Definitely. you're good to the go. The lashes take yeah. a, a long time. For no. Me. no, no, no. For me, it doesn't. They don't. For me, they do. I think that can doesn't. waste they my whole don't. time. Then, ooh, ooh. For me, it Especially doesn't. the strip lashes, yeah. like really? and you have. Once you, once you the learn glue. how to use it, Properly, trust me, it's right? very easy. Yeah. Like you just need to get used to your eyes and mm -hmm. you know how to position it right yeah. and mm -hmm. what works for you. I like this eye is very easy for me to apply my lashes on, but this one because my left hand I'm not okay. very good, so okay. I struggle with this one. Mm -hmm. But doing one your makeup easy, once yeah. your eyebrows are done, you're good. You line your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know you don't have to go heavy on makeup when mm -hmm. you're going on a date with your husband. Yeah, kind of, he's seeing you with or without makeup so yeah. just do your eyebrows line your eyes properly and wear lipstick you can powder up if you're late but if you have a lot of time then you can decide to contour highlight and do all that but basically just keep it clean and simple he's your boo he yeah. loves you and he's decided to take you to his mama so and he's yeah. seeing you in a restroom <laughs> Number two. <laughs> and start, start, yeah. start yeah. getting ready before him because I think a lot yeah. of mistakes, one mistake that women make is you start getting ready at the same when time. He's ready. When he's no, yeah. no, when he's getting ready. And all they have to do is just do this, do this, and they're done. Yeah. But you know, you still have to do a lot. So just try and try and start start off before him. But it's a good thing that you're putting effort into how you look. So mm -hmm. don't feel relaxed, you know. You need to up your game. Even though he's married you and he loves you, you need to keep looking fly because there are no ugly girls out there right That's now. All Everybody's girl fine. Ugly girls. No. <laughs> oh well, I think we need to move on to our meme of the day. It's time to go social, people. Yeah. Yes, and I have this very interesting meme. Um, okay, here goes. African parents will beat you to cry. When you start crying, they will beat you to uncry. If while beating you, you don't cry, you're a bad child. And it has this picture of a little boy crying <laughs> like this <laughs> and like this. So I don't know. Did you have any experience of your mom beating you? I think you have My mom one. never beat me when okay. I was small. No. Really? The, the most she did was this. For my father, God bless his soul. Oh my goodness, the love of my life. Mm -hmm. My dad smacked us a couple of times. Like smacked us, mm -hmm. not the yeah, 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 yeah. but the kind of beating that he would like. He used the belt a mm -hmm. few times, Ouch. and what why he always beat us was we were always fighting. I was a tomboy, and I grew up with boys, so I used to fight my brothers. Like we used to fight like boys, and sometimes we'd be rolling on the floor, we'd be fighting. So my dad would come and bring his belt and use that to, to separate us. Mm. And you know he'd say, "Go and kneel down there." So we kneel down, and then we start crying. And you're like, it's like, are you crying? Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, crying. Oh, you're not crying. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I can identify with that picture because you yeah. know sometimes yeah. you really don't know whether to cry or not. You're like, oh, and then you're like, are you crying? <laughs> so I mean, it's it's, it's 
it's, it's something crazy. that a lot of people that grew up mm -hmm. here in Nigeria went through. Can but, relate to. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy I was trained like that because I realized that after a while, my dad he stopped smacking us because we grown people. <laughs> we, no, you not, get into the not program. Even, not even. Yeah, we yeah. we had to conform. Yeah. Okay. So you know what to do. You know when to the turn minute on the he tells TV. You, stop, you know stop. when to turn, when not to turn on the TV. You know what to do. You know that you're not supposed to fight. I remember one time we broke. My brother and I were fighting, and then we broke this lion thing that you know my parents bought from i think okay. jerusalem mm -hmm. like really really nice like mm -hmm. we're fighting i just took it out like, ur, 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 and then it broke oh <laughs> hey i can't imagine and then happened. both of us that were fighting yeah. got super glue and we started trying to glue it together, together. <laughs> together. but of course when my parents came home and my dad said it was like mm, who did this yeah. and he just knew it was us and of course we got a good beating mm -hmm. mm. yeah. I should. okay mm -hmm. well i was never spanked as a child you know by my parents but in school yes and the only thing that used to happen was my mom would shout she would yell and you could shout at me and i'll just start crying like Aww. serious like just <laughs> Why are you crying? Is it because of this one thing that I said that you're crying? Why are you? <laughs> and if you don't cry, <laughs> and if you don't cry, it's the same thing. But I was just a cry baby. Like I used to cry at like Lion King. So then my sleep is what they would do is they'll go and put any movie they see that they think will make me cry. They'll put it on. So come and watch, come and watch. Then they'll just stay and wait for me to start crying. So after a while, I think it toughened me up a bit. So in fact, I didn't even like to see people cry anymore because. Mm. It was like everybody just knew you were a softie, so they could Aww. take advantage of you. But yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I got beaten <laughs> almost every day. <laughs> really? I was so I mean, bad. you were in America, right? What? I thought it wasn't Nigerian allowed parents, to beat. I was saying earlier today how my mom used to come to school with her rapper, a full school full of white people, mm. and, and with her, sh take her shoe off, and about to knock me on the head, <laughs> grab my nose, push my nose, <laughs> my ear, knock my head. <laughs> In front of the teacher, oh, Beverly, she's just not listening, very disruptive in class. Eh, it's you. <laughs> you, you, you will see, I will kill you. Today. In fact, I will kill you. I said, hey. Oh, my, in and America. Yes. My mom used to drive to the front, you know, with loud Christian music. <laughs> loud. I said, Mommy, please just drop us back there to get out, okay? Because she's embarrassing. Or the time that the teacher was there, she jumped up and grabbed a switch and started beating me. And my Whoa. teacher was so tired of me that she was like, <laughs> Very good. She was like, Very Thank good. So I'm going to kill you today. Oh you my goodness. You. Normally, you. Hey. normally, I mean, you're in America. What normally, does that mean? Parents are not supposed to vlog you. You could what literally does... call the police. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what's Social yeah. In the Nigerian home, and I'm they, surprised they that a teacher off. will be there. And your mom they were tired. 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 Oh my goodness. It was so bad. I don't know why. Sometimes I used to think about why do I have to just. Get up those demons you always used to talk about. Girl, they're like, gone now. <laughs> you know, forever. They're hey, gone forever. Hey. They're not coming back. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. <laughs> okay, since they're gone and we're here <laughs> celebrating, it's time to end the show. Oh. Thank you so much, Arika. Thank you, you guys. Thank, thank you to so myself. Try too, and thank you the to chocolate? our lovely. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try the chocolate. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Beverly, for those Thank tips. You. Thank you so Thanks. much. And Arike, I really love this subject. Like this topic was just on point. Thank I've taken girl. notes, Beverly. You see, I'm saying Thank my you thank girl. yous. Thank and thank you. you to our lovely viewers for staying tuned. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Girls Uncut as much as I did. Be sure to hit us up on our social media platforms. We are at Girls Uncut underscore on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook as well. All right, guys. For me and my ladies, bye-bye.